some of his uncertainties are being demonstrated through the space. So nipping is very spatial. It is. And you know, as you're asking him to change, it actually is more of a gelding game. It is. Because it's kind of back and forth. You know, yeah. it's like, he goes, you go, he goes, you go, he goes, you go. Have you seen geldings do that over the fence? Yes. Yeah, very good. So, so, him, what's I, that? I want to give him... I want to give him the, the chance to be good. Of course. And I want to constantly be getting after him. I understand. But so then what I say is there's going to have to be a little bit more follow through. Yes. May I work him a moment? So it is? Yeah, very good. All right. <laughs> okay, so what I want to try to do is I want to, I don't want to necessarily think I'm going to whap him or get after him, but I want this space to just become super clear. Yeah. So you're trying, yeah. but what happens is, is that he's not actually getting out of the space. And so then all it has to be is that there has to be a real clear boundary about what you're doing. And so what I'm going to do is, is, is when a horse has a nipping issue, it is a space issue. It has nothing to do with nipping. So I don't worry about his mouth because you can see it's not a mouth issue. And that's the great part about it is if you can get to a place where... What I'm doing here is I'm actually activating my space. I'm not even talking to him. As much as it may appear that I am, I'm activating my own bubble. Okay, and when, when he starts to respond to my bubble, or to my effect, my space, the nipping is just gone. Because horses don't have a nipping issue, which just seems crazy. But if you try to deal with the nipping, this is what I find it, because you are trying to deal with it, but he's still in your space. So then he's actually still directing you, which is what turns it into a gelding game. When pl horses are having gelding games, they're not trying to make each other move. No. They're just playing. Yeah. And so you can see he's actually pretty genuine about it. Because he's not really trying to eat you. <laughs> and he's just messing with you. Right? <laughs> and that's a little bit about Merlin. I call him Dennis the Menace. <laughs> Look at that hair. <laughs> so I want to be, I would actually prefer to be a little clearer, very precise, and have it done. And this is a little bit about what I was talking with Judy about. Then, then, back and forth, back and forth, right? Because if you're back and forth, you recognize it doesn't actually change anything. So I'm going to walk with purpose, and then I'm just going to own my space in the hole. Okay, so as clear as I can, I'm working on, boom. So it really doesn't even have anything to do with him. Because you can see that it's not really a nipping issue. But you see, energetically, I'm trying to fill my space. And then here, and then that has an effect on him. There we go. And you see? Done. There. That's the best he's actually backed. See, I asked him to back, and he gets sticky again. And so where the struggle comes, Danielle, number one, is activating everything into your own space. Okay. So when you say something, you see it's all spatial. Does that seem weird? Oh, I'm not quite yeah. sure. It's like where you keep yourself in. Ah, we all do. Okay, and this is, a, this is a thing in life, right? It's like, and almost everybody does it because we don't want to be vulnerable or get hurt or look silly or, you know, whatever. So we end up going like that. But the reality is a lot of our real ownership of our deal comes when we're here. Okay? And see, to me, our space is just as much who we are as our skin. But we, 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 right, we do this and that leaves a twist in us because we're not actually here. But then, see, this is what a horse like Merlin is going to continue calling upon, which is I'm thankful for him then. Because he's going to help really you get to here. Which is going to make you feel kind of more in yourself. So that's a beautiful thing that horses really help us with. But you recognize the difference in him. All of a sudden now he's, he's able to just stand and be calm. Because there's a sense of relaxation in him when he's like that. Because now that needs being taken care of. So every time he nibbles on you, yes, part of it, it's kind of like he's having fun with you. But a lot of it is he's a little bit unsure. He's a little bit worried. There's a little bit of uncertainty. But spatial horses show everything spatial. Did you notice? Okay, I'll just explain this. 
So he wanted to look. What did he do first? He took two steps in towards me yeah, and then looked. Yeah. Everything is spatial first. For a pressure horse, I shake my flag. <laughs> They're scared of it. A mind horse, everything, looking at everything. A space horse, into you, into you. They're just character traits. But with horses, they're more than character traits, they're needs. And out of the space, good. And I'm gonna exaggerate here, guys, this is not the way I'm asking you to do it. Okay? <laughs> this is a bit silly. But I'm trying to exaggerate what I'm actually trying to get done.